Hey guys, here we are. We're back in the studio. I'm with my good friend Ty, and uh, this feels like old times. Mate, reminiscing. This is like a five question Friday or something like that. This is good. I don't know it's what good. this is. I just got asked to come yeah. here and, and have a chat. So, uh, what is going on, Ty? What? Um, where have you been? What happened? And uh, talk me through it. What's going on? Uh, well, I guess I guess I'm back. So, two and a half, nearly three years ago. Uh, I, I walked away from Vive Group. I decided I, I burn out. That's what happened. I burn out. I went too hard for too long, and uh, I broke all of my own rules. Anyone who's been to the affiliate seminars, the first five minutes is me talking about a burnout I had in my early twenties with martial arts schools and how stupid I was and how I was chasing dumb metrics and doing all of this just ridiculous young twenty year old nonsense, and it led to me burning out and walking away from martial arts and. Uh, yeah, I, apparently I've got a pretty short memory because I, <laughs> I kind of did it all again with Vive Group. Uh, man, you, know, you were there. We we did 50 plus countries over four or five years. We were doing back-to-back -back seminars, six-week trips away from home, You know, spending more than six months of the last four years away from home, away from family. and uh, And that combined with just me being a psychopath about business, just being obsessed with chasing numbers, but chasing stupid numbers. You know, last year we did six international seminars. Can we do 10 this year? Uh, we haven't been to this country. Can we go to these five countries? Can we, you know, how hard can we push? How, how far can we go? And, you know, the only metric that mattered was how many gyms were we helping? But, um, but yeah, I got caught up and I just, I pushed too hard for too long and I, I wasn't smart enough to, uh, to read the signs of burnout. Uh, I turned into a prick. I was cranky. You I was did. tired. <laughs> you saw it. You were there. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it just, it built and it built and it built until eventually uh, it just, it broke. I snapped. And uh, the only solution as I saw it then was, uh, was to walk away from Vive Group, was to walk away from coaching gyms and, uh, and to go to something that made me happy. That's what I needed was something that was easy, that was happy, that was, you know, um, yeah, and that was photography and I've done that full time for the last two and a half, three years and it's been amazing. And up until a couple of weeks ago, I was pretty content. That was, that was life and I was, I was pretty happy with that. And, uh, it, w it wasn't even, it didn't even cross my mind, you know, whether I was ever going to come back to Vive Group, that, that wasn't even on the cards. And, um, and I think cause you know, there's so many experiences and sometimes we can romanticize our past and we just remember the positives and other times we can demonize our past and, and just remember the negatives. And that's definitely what I did is almost as a safeguard to me ever having the thought of even coming back. I just remembered the bad times and uh, which sucked because there, there were way more good times. You know, we had a good time. Absolutely. And, uh, and then Torian happened. <laughs> The Torian Pro, uh, the uh, what, Australian qualifier for the games. I guess is that even the right? Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been out for too long. Let's, let's go over there. The Oceania semi final. Yeah, there yeah. you go. The <laughs> that's what I said. The Oceania semi final. Uh, uh, I was shooting at that, um, taking photos of the event, and within the first half of day one, I got this, just this inkling to come back. It was the people. It was, you know, I felt like, uh, it, man, it sounds so cliche, but I felt like these are my people. You know, I, I love the people I get to work with with photography, but it, it just felt like I was a square peg in a square hole at the, at the CrossFit event, you know, and, and I wasn't even running into people I really knew. It was mostly strangers just chatting to people, hanging out, the general vibe, the, the, the quality of the community. And, uh, and I'll be honest, and you saw it, I tried to fight that urge I tried to convince myself out of um the even the idea of coming back and then yeah over the the next three days by the end of the third day by the time we drove home I was I was all in I was like this is this is where I need to be you know this is what's making me happy this this feels good this feels right um yeah I've, I've had my time in the forest and I'm ready to come back <laughs> to civilization I guess I love it I'm excited <laughs> so what do you yeah, what do you do different this time around? Like what to avoid it happening again, to avoid being in the same position four years down the road. Yep. What's uh, what's a plan yeah. going forwards with Vive Group? Yeah, that's been, that's been everything. That's been the focus of every conversation that 
uh, I've had with my wife and with people like yourself that I trust and um, uh, focus on what matters. And that's, that's singular. That's helping gyms. That's it. End of story. Um, not getting caught up in the vanity metrics, not getting caught up in how big can I make this? How many coaches can we have around the world? How many, you know, just wanker bullshit that, yeah. Been there, done that. So hopefully I don't make that mistake. If you guys see me making that mistake, tell me, get after me. Because uh, apparently I'm not smart enough to uh, to not make the same mistake twice. But um, yeah, you know, it's exciting because I, I don't know what Vive Group will be. We're going to keep the name. I like the name. Um, there's no reason not to. But I don't know what it'll be in a year's time or five years' time. Um, right now, all I'm concerned with is getting back into the community and, and coming with a giving hand and helping as much as I can. Um, and then we'll see what it is. Cause also I've, I've been out for a couple of years, you know, I, uh, I don't know what the community needs, you know, it's, I'm sure I've got the solutions based on what we've worked on for seven or eight years, but, um, yeah, right now I just want to come back and help. It's not an exciting answer, but that's no, it. That's good, man. I think it's a good, honest answer. And so what does it look like practically, for the next few months, like the first six months of Vive Group, um, yep. what does that helping it actually look like practically for you? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to give away 100 free coaching calls, 30-minute um, coaching calls, uh, no strings attached, no sales session. This isn't a strategy session. None of that bullshit. Just I just want to you – know, and there's a bunch of elements to it. Number one, I just want to help um, because I'm not going to lie. I felt guilty not being there for the community the last, you know, it's been a shitty couple of years and I wasn't there. Um, and as much as I've lost sleep over that and I've, I've lost a lot of sleep over that, um, it was the right call. I still stand by the call to walk away. It, I was no good to anybody towards the end there. Um, and, you know, the last two years has been wild and, and I'll be honest, I, I wouldn't have had the solutions during that. I wasn't the right person. Um but I've been away for two years, so I need to uh, I need to cut my teeth again on where are we? You know, the the reason we had so much success is because we earned our stripes. You know, we went out there and we did the fucking work, um, and I need to earn my stripes again. So to start with, I'm just going to give a uh, hundred free coaching calls over the next however long it takes to to do that, and then at the end of that, hopefully I'll help a shit ton of boxes. Um, I'll have an idea of what boxes need, where the community's at. Uh, as a whole and I'll understand what solutions I can provide to to help them um, whether that's more seminar I love seminars I'm never going to stop doing seminars <laughs> so seminars is going to happen at some point but it'll even that'll be different you know it's it can't be what it was uh, number one I've done it it's out there uh, but number two um, that I know where that leads you know so um, yeah right now I just want to help it's cool man we'll go I from there it. I but, love it uh, so yeah, for anyone li watching, listening, I don't know. I haven't worked it out. There'll be a link here somewhere. Hit the link, book in a call, let's chat, see your faces. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm happy to be back. I'm, I'm grateful to the community. The, the people that I've spoken with so far have been so supportive and, and uh, supportive and also, you know, we've had this chat a couple of times, um, honest enough to help me make sure I don't make the same mistakes again. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I'll find new mistakes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's awesome, man. Well, I think what the community needs more than ever is someone who's a straight shooter, no BS, and you're definitely that unique person in that sense. I know that as a friend and as a, you know, someone who's coached me through my affiliate journey. So, yeah, man, I'm pumped and I'm sure a lot of the guys and girls are on the other side of the screen is pumped to have you back as well. So, Let's go. Thanks, love man. Love it. I'm stoked. Awesome, guys. Looking forward to working with you.